All right, so today we're talking about three ways to write better headlines. Uh, you know, one of the best, one of the most important things is what people see first, right? This is going to go for our advertisements. This is going to go for our sales funnels. This is going to go for our subject lines and our emails. Okay, our headline might be one of the most important elements of our marketing because it is what uh, captures the attention of our our market, right? So, in regards to writing better headlines. Um, I'm going to give you three different ways that you can actually improve your headlines. You can punch up your copy. You can uh, use these different resources to improve the uh, not maybe reader reader ability or like let's say for example they read the headline and then read the copy or maybe they read the headline and then watch the video. Um, whatever the case may be, we're going to talk about those things in this video. And um, I think you're really going to find a lot of value in it. So the first way that I like to look for headlines and really, honestly, the easiest and most effective way is to go to Amazon. Uh, something that I realized the last couple of days as I'm working with clients is I can go to Amazon.com and look. Oh, it's getting a little blurry. Uh, look in in those categories so let's say i'm doing day trading or maybe i'm doing more of a uh, let's say ketogenic diet or maybe i'm selling investments right um, i can find different industries within within amazon that have sold books or different programs that i can look and find headlines um, i want you to go to amazon.com and do that for your own industry because i'm not going to do my share uh, screen share here um, but what I want to emphasize is the ability to go there and type in your industry and find other books and resources that have been published where you can find different headlines. Something to realize though is you, you don't want to copy because what you're really trying to do is find uh, different words, different phrases, different uh, frameworks that you can use for your headlines to improve your own. Uh, because you've definitely got something that is unique to you. You've got something that um, I think, you know, obviously you, you, you want to coin as your own thing. Um, so, you know, in regards, one of the uh, examples would be day trading with cryptocurrency. Uh, one of my clients does that now. And so uh, the what I did was I went to Amazon.com. I, I looked up a day trading with cryptocurrency on Amazon.com and found hundreds of different books that I could look for uh, headlines, but not only that, but I could look at reviews, um, which is part of the research phase. There's, I'm coming up with this new method and I'm going to be launching it soon. It's called the RMFC method. Um, but the first part is research. Uh, research is one of the most important elements of your marketing. If you know who you're targeting, if you know who you're after, I don't know why this keeps trying to focus. Uh, then you can really start writing your message and presenting your message in a way that people want are attracted to it and that want to do business with you. Okay, so but going to Amazon.com allows you to look at different uh, books and, and and things that have been published with different headlines. You can see the because when you read them, typically there's going to be a framework, and this might be kind of its own little sub point. Um, but there's going to be frameworks. So typically it's going to be how to X without Y. So, you know, how to lose weight without cutting carbs, right? Or how to make more money without investing your life savings. Okay. So that's a framework. Um, something I want you to keep in mind when you're doing your marketing is to have frameworks for everything. Um, you can literally framework your advertisements, you can framework your headlines, you can framework your sales copy, you can framework your video sales letters, you can framework your emails. If you have those frameworks and you've done your research, which I'll go more into with my RFM, RMFC method, uh, still coming up with that as we go into these videos further, um, you'll see how doing your research is the most important because then you just fill in the blanks once you have your framework you can fill in the blank okay but the headline is one of the most important elements because it's the first thing that people read so if you can grab the attention of the person that is reading that headline they will read 
maybe the sub headline, maybe they'll listen to the video that you've done for the video sales letter, and maybe they'll continue on on your actual full length long form sales copy. Okay, um, in that headline again, we go into for, uh, frameworks, but um, we also want to consider that our headlines need to like really call out the people that we're trying to attract. We want to be dog whistling. And I'm really sorry about this freaking adjustment thing, but we want to be dog whistling. We want to call out to our perfect prospect, right? We want to be able to say, hey, this is for you and this is not for you. There's, there's, you and that's where the research phase comes in. That's why it's so important is you really need to understand who it's for. Because if you know who it's for in your headline, you can tell them who it is for and who it is not for. Okay? Um, so you need to be dog whistling. You need to say, hey, this, if you're a day trader, if you're a cryptocurrency market day trader, this is for you. Okay? But in your headline, you're also not only, you're, you're not only telling them that they're getting something, but it's going to help them achieve or overcome something. So it, it, the headline needs a lot of focus, it needs a lot of research, and a few different resource, resources Excuse me, that you can use for your research are going to be Amazon. You can use ClickBank. Uh, ClickBank is a great race resource for finding products that are... Um, you know they're they're selling. It's in high demand. Uh, there's a lot of uh, affiliates that are promoting that product, um, and you can kind of use different tools to find what products are actually selling. But once you find those, then you can look at what the headlines are. You can go into their sales funnels. You can read their copy. Okay, well, who are they talking to? But that part is the research phase. Okay, now not only that, but you can also use. Um, newspapers okay so I've actually I I never read these these instantly go in the trash but for some reason I hung on to it today and I feel like it's necessary to talk about okay this is all about a bathtub I uh, I don't need a stand-up bathtub I'm not 70 years old okay um, but what I really noticed in this article was the bullet points um, the bullet points allow or kind of build value to the headline because the headline tells them what they're getting by consuming the information so the sub headline allows you to say you're also going to learn this and this and this and this you're going to discover discover this it's going to be simple because of this right um like for example it says first and only walk-in tub available with a custom customizable shower um, durable, frameless, tempered glass enclosure available, high quality. So the things that I look for here, though, are high quality, uh, durable, um, let's see, adjustable, height, it pivots, it allows you to sit wherever you want. And again, I don't need a stand-up shower, but we can, we can look through these and really get, gain a lot of value. And I think it's important for us as business owners as uh, marketers, as content producers, to look at what is already being published. I mean, you, you look at a company like Big, uh, sorry, I almost said Bitcoin. Get some Bitcoin, by the way. Uh, Burger King, they've spent millions and millions of dollars on advertising. So a lot of their phrases and their headlines and their subheadlines and their marketing strategies have already been tested. So you can take a lot of, a, a lot away from that, excuse me. Um, but this is more of a subtle thing to look at, but the bullet points, the bullet points add value to whatever it is that you're actually giving uh, away, maybe for free or for sale, and then also adds value to the headline. Um, there is also a source that I haven't dug too deep on. Um, I just started learning about it. I really high, highly recommend um, the Barn Letters. Uh, the Barn Letters is Gary Halbert. He was in prison. He was writing letters to his son uh, in uh, while he was in prison. But his son revised the letters and, and talked about them more. Um, but... My, my suggestion is that you read copywriting books because it's going to give you an overall encompassing view 
of um, marketing and advertising as a whole because it's going to tell you what to look for in your clients, but it's going to tell you how to talk to your clients because, and that might be the mo one of the most important things. If you know what they want, what their frustrations are, and how to talk to them, everything else becomes a lot more simple, okay? But until we know that, we're going to be testing, we're going to be trial, excuse me, trial and erroring. Um, but there's a lot of things that you, can, a lot of time that you can save by going to resources like a newspaper, like going to Amazon.com, like going to ClickBank.com, by going to RS or uh, SRDS, which stands for. Um, hopefully, I wrote it down here pretty close. Uh, it's in here. I don't know. Something about uh, data. Data service is the last two. Um, standard something something. Anyway, my point is, is you can go to srds.com or you know find an RSDS, which is it has to do with direct mail um, and you know finding lists of people that are buyers. Um, there's a lot of the research that you can do, but that's the first phase of RMFC uh, in the RMFC method. Um, so we're going to be talking a lot about research. We're going to be talking a lot about modeling after other people. We're going to talk a lot about building frameworks and then diving into the creation of everything. So if you like this video, please make sure to like, uh, like up this video, give us some hearts, give us some love. Leave a comment. Tell me what you learned from this, uh, this episode uh, or whatever it is. So three ways to write better headlines. Today we talked about uh, diving into ClickBank, Amazon.com, reading copywriting books, looking for newspapers that you can find different bullet points and headlines on. Um, I talked about something else, but I'm blanking. So... That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll talk to you on another live video. Peace.